Skirmions, although they were predicted back in the 1960s, weren't experimentally discovered until 2009. And still they're slightly mysterious. Skirmions aren't made of normal matter. They're not made of atoms or molecules. They're simply made of magnetic moments swirling around. We've been building a consortium of academics that is interested in looking at magnetic skirmions. 15% of the world's energy consumption is going into the World Wide Web. So every time you access things over your phone or on your computer, you're accessing hard disk drives in large acre-sized sites. And that's generating lots of heat and wasting lots of electricity. And we can move a skirmion for 100,000 times less energy than we can move a ferromagnetic domain in current devices. Skirmionic devices could be much smaller. They could run on much lower energy. They could generate much less heat and use much less electricity in the world. The project's aims can really be split into three parts. In the first part, we're looking at making new materials and synthesizing materials that host skirmions, materials where skirmions can happily exist. In the second part, we're investigating their fundamental physics using an array of state-of-the-art experimental and theoretical techniques. And finally, we're using that knowledge and those materials to engineer something like a device that uses skirmions to store information. There have been very few techniques capable of seeing skirmions. One of the main aims of our project is to expand the range of techniques so that we can get more information from each technique, which together will give us a better picture of what skirmions are, how they're formed, how, how to control them. The fact that the skirmionic devices would potentially use a lot less energy um, and would also potentially be rather a lot smaller it means we'd be creating a whole load of new devices in your computers or in your storage media or in all, all of the things you carry around with you that would be probably smaller but certainly less expensive and less hungry for energy and that's a really key thing in modern science.